the first edition of John Locke's An Essay Concerning Human Understanding. I'm Ian Smith, Senior Specialist at Peter Harrington Rare Books, and I'd like to show you this book. This is the first issue of the first edition of Locke's essay, differentiated from the second by the inclusion of the name printed by Elizabeth Holt for Thomas Bassett in 1690. We have an early ownership inscription here of R. Stileman, and throughout a large part of the book, an early reader has made sensible summaries of each section in the blank margins. Locke started thinking or investigating the concept of knowledge and certainty in the 1670s, but only published in 1690, where he concludes that whilst we may not know everything, we know enough to be confident that we are, in a sense, involved in our future, the way our life goes. Throughout this extensive book, he discusses all natures of knowledge, our relation to it, our relation to the world. And this work had a considerable influence throughout Europe with early translations into French and German and I've gone dry. Um, Get the train of thought back, buddy. Yeah. Were you going to say about Americans? Well, I wasn't, but you could prompt me. Well, I just, you know, isn't he, he's the sort of the whole to be the philosopher behind, you know, that all the founding fathers were did. So, yeah. you know, I don't know. I, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, Ian, it doesn't matter what page you're on at the moment. Yeah. Um, as long as you get your book from straight down to the lens of camera one, yeah. you have this free back of the digital camera. Again, okay? I just want to say the rest of it is the condition and error. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in three, two, one, cue in. <laughs> <laughs> There's Stand some back. strange person over there. Okay. Um, three, two, and it's not down, it's got fully great, and I'll get I'll cue you into the copy. Three, okay. two, one, and cue. This copy has been bound in a contemporary style of binding, blind stamped plain calf with a simple leather label, typical of how it would have first appeared. Locke's influence in America and on the continent was considerable. For more information on this book and other philosophical titles, please visit the Peter Harrington website.